and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's story time. Before we get into it, make sure you are subscribed and give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. We're gonna get right into it. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna title this video, but this is a time that my best friend tried to steal my man right in front of my face. So yeah, this story is about Mercedes. If you don't know who Mercedes is, you're just gonna have to go back and watch some old story times because I'm not getting into it. You're just gonna have to, I'll probably like link one, like she in that um, story time where, um, I think, I don't know what I titled it. I'm gonna have to link it. But that was the one girl I talked about where, remember when I said we was playing um, Never Have I Ever and she was like, never have I ever stuffed my bra. like. And then, um, remember I told y'all about the new boy who had came to our school and she was just mad that she wasn't as bold as I was and I went up and talked to him and snatched him right up and she was mad and just, I got a few story times about Mercedes, so go check those out. You don't have to watch those as a prerequisite to know what's going on in this story time, but just to get a feel of like who she was as a person and as like a best friend to me, you can go watch those. So. Anyways, uh, yeah, let's get into it. So, let's take it back because y'all know I was only friends with Mercedes when I was in high school and I had to cut her off as soon as I graduated because it was just, it was just a lot. I think I will give a detailed story time about like how we, I wouldn't say we fell out because it was literally like I was just done. Like I just cut all contact, like I blocked her on everything like and then she eventually like found me like years later, but then we like lost contact again. It was just very weird. So this happened, I can't remember what grade we was in. That really does not matter. Just know we was young and turned and just doing the most. So one day we at school and we trying to figure out what we want to do for the weekend. So I'm just like, um, you should tell your mom um, that you want to sleep over my house. We can, you know, link with some guys. We can just go out. We can go hang out with my god brother and his friends. Like, the night will be young. We young and turn. Let's get it. Like, let's find some plans. So she like, all right, bet. So I remember at the time I was talking to this one guy. And I wouldn't really count this as like anything other than like a situation shit because we was like on and off for like years and I don't want to say like on and off because to me like on and off mean like we together like we on right now and then we off right now like no we was never like together we was just entertaining each other in like little spurts like sometimes I would talk to him and we'd be cool for like two months and then we would go like eight months without talking to each other and then we'd be cool for five months and then we'd go a year so it was just like very like whatever so I was on with him at this time so and also I know I wasn't like very serious about this guy because I was the one out of the friend group to always tell my girlfriends about who I was talking to like I'm interested in him. I got a crush on him. I go with him. I'm in a relationship with him. Like, I will always be the first one to bring that to them. And I never told them about him because that's just how, like, unserious it was. So, I remember I was talking to him um, at this point in time or whatever. So, fast forward, like, I probably told Mercedes this at, like, the beginning of the week or, like, Monday or something. So, fast forward, now it's Friday. So, she coming home with me, but... Y'all know I cheer on Friday, so you gotta just wait till I'm done, and then we can do whatever after the game. Normally, though, like nine times out of ten, sometimes we would like go to like a kickback or like a party or something, but it'd be late. So like nine times out of ten, after a football game in my town, you would go to Waffle House or you would go to McDonald's and you would park a lot, pimp with your friends. It was like a little gas station. Um, it was like a McDonald's in the gas station, and it was a Waffle House across the street. You will be at one of two places, parking lot, pimp with your friends for like an hour or so, and then you go home. So that's exactly what we did. Can't remember which one we went to, but we were somewhere, was chilling with our friends, and then we went home. So the next day, and now was Saturday. So I'm just like, are you cool with hanging out with? So let's give the guy in this story that I'm talking to, we're gonna call him Willie, and we're gonna call his friend Stefan. I don't know why I just thought about the names literally the furthest from both of their names anyways so i'm like um do you want me to ask willie if he 
can bring a friend with him. So she's like, yeah, but tell him to like send pictures. So she's really like, I'm like, send pictures of like all your homeboys, like send pictures of the homeboys that you with, that you hang out with, that you closest to, whatever, whatever. So she's going through the pics and she's literally like choosing through the pictures. And I'm like, I taught you well. Cause you always wanna, let me not say that. But, but no, for, do y'all hear news? No, for real, um, always make sure you see the friend group as a collective to make sure you got the finest one. Do, do people, do that make me sound like a bitch? I don't know. Um, okay, anyways, um, but that's what she was doing, which I don't know why, because Willie was the finest out the group, so I already got him, but you can have the next best thing. So she going through the pictures and she like oh he is really fine he's really fine i want him to talk about stuff fine so i'm like all right bet i'm gonna tell him to bring him with us and our plan was to just go to um sand hills i don't know if i ever told y'all um what the place that i'm always talking about where we be linking up it's called sand hills i really don't care if people um find out like what that is because i tell y'all other stuff but anyway so our plan was to go to sand hills and we was just gonna meet them and just do whatever so like basically it's like like an outdoor like mall essentially and it has like um a movie theater as well but it has like a lot of stores and restaurants and just like the thing that we used to do when we was kids was you go to sand hills on a saturday night this was like i think we was past the point because they got curfew um, we was, we was, we had to be past the point or either we was running from the police. I don't know. Whatever. That really doesn't matter. But you would put on like your best outfit. Like I'm talking about hair done, nails done, lashes, eyebrows filled in. Like every, like you just look your best, like 10 out of 10. And you would just go out there just to be seen. Literally, that's what we used to do when we were some kids. Literally just go out there to be seen. And there would be hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of like, teeny boppers and if you don't know what a teeny bopper is it's just like you know that I, is a teeny bopper a teenager or before a teenager i don't know whatever we was really young and stupid because like why is we doing all this just to like walk around we would like walk laps around sand hills for no reason for no reason so i'm just like that's what we're gonna do that's where we're gonna meet up at blah 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 and let me just pause um the story right here before i go any further because i don't want to hear it in the comments um as i be telling y'all stuff about people um i get it like everybody is different you may not have done something that i did in this same exact situation and i get that that's great that's fine but i do just want to say like with mercedes and like specifically her I was just blinded by like how much I loved her and cared about her and I never thought that she would like do me how she was clearly doing me in my face like one thing about people you think a motherfucker not gonna do you like that and they'll do you exactly like that without hesitation and it's just like I will always make excuses for her I will always give her the benefit of doubt but it's just like how much could you really trust somebody because like I told y'all when I first told y'all about her like when i first brought her on my channel i mean not like physically like you know like when i initially talked to y'all about her the first time i said that we hated each other before and then we became best friends so it's just like how much could you really like trust somebody if y'all like was that much at odds with each other but regardless whatever um i always made excuses for her so i want y'all to like listen to this in that scope like i was blinded by like how much i really did care for her and love her and maybe i was just a little stupid i don't know but yes and also i want to add that i don't know why she always wanted what i had because it's not like mercedes was ugly like she was a beautiful girl, had a nice body. Like, I don't know why she always wanted the fine guys that wanted me. Because you could pull, like, I've seen her with my own eyes pull fine ass men. Like, fine ass men. So, I don't know. Like, it was just whatever. So, um, yeah, but before, also, so back to the story. So, before I get to when we got to Sand Hills, um, I want to say that me and Willie were talking and texting and like I said I never um brought Willie to like I never brought 
Willie up like to the friend group because that's just how unserious I was about him. So nobody knew like who he was, how he looked, nothing. So after we agreed that Willie was gonna bring stuff on for Mercedes, we making plans. This is all on Saturday, by the way. She kept asking, well, not kept asking, she probably asked like twice. Um, what was his Instagram? So I'm not thinking like nothing of it because like I'm a nosy best friend. She a nosy best friend. I would want to see what this mystery guy looks like too. Like you've been holding out. Like you ain't told me nothing. You've been talking to him. Like I want to know what he looked like. So I'm thinking that's what she wanted to do. So I put in his name on Instagram and I hand her my phone. Y'all, this little sneaky ass girl. So she's looking through his pictures and she's like, oh, he is fine. Like Stefan, I mean not Stefan. Well, Stefan too, he was cute. But Willie was like early 90s sitcom fine. Like he was so fine that like it scared me a little bit. Like I know I can never take you serious because you look too good. Like I I can't. I can't. I just I just know I would be somewhere in the corner of a room rocking back and forth, pulling out my edges, crying, talking to myself, voices in my head like no. I I don't want them type of problems. Like that's how fine he was. Like I was mesmerized. But I can't do nothing with you, babe, cuz you you look too good. And he was the type of guy who he knew like, he knew the power that he held in that. Like, I hate for a fine-ass man to know that he's a fine-ass man. I hate it. 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 So, she takes my phone. She's going through his page. We both are in agreement of how fine he is. I'm already confirming that because, duh, I know. I've been talking to him. He's been fine, like, all of his life. Whatever, whatever. So, um... I remember he had texted me and he was like, what you say your friend name was again? And I said Mercedes and Mercedes obviously is nowhere near her real name. So he was like, oh shit, she just followed me on Instagram and liked all my pictures. Why would you do that? Huh? Huh? And my thing is like, okay, it's one thing to follow your besties. Like, I'm not going to even say man, but like for the sake of the story your besties man but like then to go and like all of his pictures that was kind of like red flaggish to me but again me giving her the benefit of the doubt I'm like okay like I don't even know why I'm thinking about my best friend like that because it's not like she followed him liked all his pictures and then slid in his DMs I think DMs were a thing at this point in time so let's just say they were it's not like she messaged him like slid in his DMs and like said nothing like out of pocket but me and him did agree like okay like that's that's weird so he was like yeah I was just letting you know like I didn't follow her back or nothing but yeah she spammed me like she liked all of my pictures so I'm just like okay so I didn't say anything to her because again I'm not trying to like mess up the night before it even start I'm not trying to like have an attitude but I am just thinking like is she being weird again because this happened after um the I forgot what I named the boy the new boy in that one story this happened after that though so I'm just like is she being weird again like how she was with old boy or is this like a coincidence like I don't know I don't know I didn't say nothing I know somebody gonna be like I would have said like okay that's fine but I didn't so whatever I let that slide the rest of the um day goes by now we getting ready we headed to Columbia so we drive in there and also I want to add because this sounds so crazy coming out my mouth now like when you in like a specific situation you don't realize how nuts it sounds until you like say it out your mouth. This sounds so crazy to me now that I'm telling y'all this. So so remember how I said she was choosing through the homeboy she chose Stefan. They got each other's contact information, but she wasn't like saying like, oh, I'm excited to like meet him. Like, oh, I'm nervous to meet him. Like she wasn't breaking him up. She wasn't talking about him. So I'm just like, why is she not talking to, cause he was cute and she wanted to get like a really, really dolled up. Like she wanted me to help her with her hair. Mercedes was not the type to wear makeup. She wanted to wear makeup. She had on like one of my shirts. We going through my perfume collection. Like she wanted to get all dolled up and I'm just like why is she not like talking about him and to my knowledge like they were texting but it was like very like dry and she was waiting like hella long in between like the responses like he would text her like five minutes after her last response and then she would take like an hour to respond to him so it was just very weird 
now I know why but at the time I'm just like okay like maybe that's just me who just would do stuff different but I don't know so okay now back to the story so we headed towards Columbia and I wanted to at first like we was gonna get there and then we was gonna walk around and then meet up with them but then I was just like I could just wait because he wasn't nothing but like 10 15 minutes like up the road he was like let me know like when y'all close and then we'll get there so I parked wherever I parked at and I told him where I parked and I waited for him to pull up and park next to me so that's exactly what he did they pulled up he got out the car looking like somebody y'all know who he looked like so I can give y'all a visual because I be forgetting also here are my nails don't don't ever expect me to not have anything but French tip on my nails I'm so sorry I'm so sorry I don't know French tip has had me in a chokehold for like two years what is that one man name out of the hold on Devonte swing just imagine i'm gonna put his picture somewhere just imagine him but like a little bit darker same pretty eyes same kind of he didn't have like the exact same haircut but it was kind of like a curly situation like you and he knew he knew because people would tell him like you look like that one guy Granted, Devante Swing don't look like this no more, but in his prime, baby, that was really all day long. I can't do nothing with you. I cannot do nothing with you. You scare me. You terrify me. Hell no. So he got out the car looking very Devante-ish, and I'm just like, oh my damn. Because I ain't seen him in like months, 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 months. Like, did you get more fine? terrified so he hugged me and you know he, he I was gonna call him Stefan Willie was the type he was like a huge like slick smooth talker like a huge flirt so like I get out looking how I'm looking and he you know hugging he's talking in my neck and I'm just like wait 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 y'all like you smell so good and y'all know who he sounded like this is not helping the case at all y'all this is not helping he sound like that one guy on TikTok I don't even know his name I don't know his name but people be in his comments like just be wanting him to say stuff and he be like some 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 mama you know who I'm talking about somebody gonna know who I'm talking about so just imagine Devante swing in the voice of that guy on TikTok. I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. I can't, I can't do it. I can't relate with Jesus, I can't relate with Jesus. I can't do it, I cannot. So he got out and was hugging on me and talking in my neck and stuff and I had to like back back, give me some distance cause you're doing a lot. So he laughed because again, he already knows the power that he holds. He already knows you by yourself. So whatever, we hug. Um, I don't know if Stefan and Mercedes hug because I'm just mesmerized in this nigga eyes right now. So I'm gonna just assume that they hug, they greeted each other. I greet Devante. I mean, not Devante. I greet Stefan and Willie greets Mercedes. And um, yeah, that was that. And we just start walking around and like y'all wanna go get something to eat, and we go to Five Guys. So Mercedes and I'm getting confused with all of these names because now that I said Devante and I want to call him Devante. Should we change his name to Devante? I feel like I already used that name though. Whatever. Willie. Willie Stefan. Willie Stefan. Willie Stefan. Okay. So we're walking to Five Guys and Stefan and Mercedes are in front of us and me and Willie are behind him and we hold hands. I'm not even gonna hold you. We hold hands. It was real cute. And I just feel like we like some proud parents. But it was just like the the chemistry between um, Stefan and Mercedes. It just wasn't there. Like me and Willie like holding hands. And granted like we've known each other for like a really long time. And like we've already like established chemistry. Like you know like I'm not expecting them to like be all up on each other. But it's just like they're not talking. We just you know like... I don't know it was just weird so we get to five guys and 
they order food they both pay for us like stefan pays for mercedes willie pays for me we get our ticket and it's a lot of people there so i'm just like oh we gonna go get a spot because they had like a little outdoor section outside of five guys like on the patio so i'm just like oh we gonna go get a table outside so me and mercedes we get our drinks we go sit outside we find a table we go sit outside so i'm like bitch like because stefan was fine too okay let's let's just let's just put that out there so i'm like bitch like what's up like he is cute so she was like yeah he is fine as fuck like both of them are fine as fuck like i'm surprised you never told me about willie like he is fine i'm just like girl i i can't i can't do willie 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 got too many girls on his body and he not finna add me. I'm the one who add to the roster. You not finna add me to your roster. I'm the one who gets added. I mean, I'm the one who does the adding to the rosters, not the other way around. And I'm just like, mm, nah. So she was just like, oh, but y'all seem like very, you know, like handsy. And I'm just like, that's just how he is. I don't take him serious. Like, I be talking to that man because I be bored. I'm just kidding. Sometimes, maybe a little bit, but whatever. So she's just like, um... I'm just like, why you and Stefan like wasn't really like talking like that? She was just like, we wasn't. I'm just like, well, when we was looking at y'all, like, no, not really. So she was just like, oh, I don't know. Like, I wasn't like doing nothing on purpose. Like, I'm just like, he was blinded by like how fine he was. But she was just like, he fine, but he not like really fine. She just kept putting emphasis on how handsome and fine and attractive Willie was. And I'm just in my head like, bitch, I know. That's that's why he next to me. Like, I know. I know. I know the type of niggas that I pull. Do you? Okay. I don't know. So, the whole conversation was just about how fine it was. Whatever. That's what we spent like 10 whole minutes talking about. He is fine. He is fine. No, he is fine. He's really fine. He's super fine. Whatever. Take a shot every time I say fine. You're going to be toe up. Um, okay. So, they come out in the way I want to, because this is very important. The way we were seated. So, it's two benches, a circular table. I'm on one bench and Mercedes is on the bench across from me, but we are sitting diagonal. So like, I'm right here and Mercedes is like right here, right? So when they come out with the food, Stefan sits in front of me and Willie sits in front of Mercedes, but you know, like I'm sitting beside him and she's sitting beside him, right? No big deal. We talking. At first, we all talking, like, together, like, collectively. And then we broke off and had, like, our own private, like, conversations. Not private because, like, we still at the table. But, you know, like, I'm letting them, you know, like, get to know each other. And me and Willie just talking about, like, whatever. He talking about, like, oh, you be playing. And, oh, I been trying to, like, wife you up. But you be going um, ghost on me. And just all of this bullshit that a nigga be trying to say to get back in your good graces. Boy, please like but i'm mesmerized i'm just like mesmerized like by him like he just talking to me and i'm just looking in his eyes and i'm just like if you will tell me to take off my drawers right now i would do it i would do it i can't do nothing with you because i'm used to having that type of hold on a nigga not the other way around so he just talking and talking and talking i'm just like he talking about a whole bunch of bullshit but damn he look good talking about it so we talking 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 he jump a little bit so I'm just like, what, what, you okay? He was like, oh yeah, my bad, my bad. I don't know what that was, like my bad. So I'm just like, okay, this, this nigga got Tourette's or something? Like what's going on? No, like I'm not trying to be funny or nothing to somebody who really do have Tourette's, I'm just saying. Um, so we talk, 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 and I'm back mesmerized again, just looking at him, just like, hmm, like butterfly, like la, 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 la. He jumped again, so this time he looked under the table, so he was like, oh, my bad, um, that was your foot. So she was just like, oh, no, you good, you good, like talking to Mercedes. So then he, so you know how, like, when you sit at a table and sometimes you got your legs, like, extended out a little bit, so he pulled his legs, like, closer to his body. So I'm just like, oh, okay, like, maybe she just, like, hit his foot or whatever. So he jumped again, like, for the third time, but this time it wasn't, like, as noticeable. So he pulled me in and from like the outside looking in, if you didn't hear what he was actually saying to me, you would think he was talking like big, nasty, freaky shit. Like, like the way he pulled me in and like moved my hair, like moved my hair from off my neck and like started whispering in my ear. You would think he was talking like big ass freaky shit and like me smiling wasn't helping. Right. 
Do y'all want to know what this man pulled me in and said to me in my ear? He said, don't make a big deal. Don't make a scene. Keep smiling and act normal, right? So I was just like, mm-hmm. Like, I'm, not, I'm smiling. He was like, I'm not even going to lie to you right now. Your homegirl, she is sliding her toes, like her feet up my leg. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. Like, and she, that's like the third time she did it. So my thing is, why are you playing footsies with my man under the table, sitting next to his homeboy that's trying to get to know you? And this is the weird shit that I've been talking about with Mercedes, because it's like, I'm not thinking you saying he's so fine, he's so fine, he's so fine, because you want him to yourself, you're trying to slide on him. I'm just thinking we in agreement with how fine he is. Because, duh, I know. And you can see that because you got eyes. No, she's saying he fine and I want him to be mine. I'm so flabbergasted. Predictable Lauren would have said something to her, caused a scene. Like, I'm not going to even give her time to come up with an excuse or a lie. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to hit this bitch where it hurt. Because it's like, why do you keep doing this to me? Why is it always the issue or some weird shit going on with us surrounding a guy? And it's not even like I be taking guys from her. I be stealing guys from up under her. Like nothing. It's just like, you're a weirdo. You're a weirdo. So you know what I did? And I'm not going to say I'm not proud of it because it's just like, why are you being weird? But okay. So like he like act normal, like don't cause a scene or nothing. I'm just like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like, oh, okay. So I'm still smiling though. So I'm like, um, I like move away from him and I'm looking at him in his eyes and I'm just like, you remember where we parked at? So he was like, yeah. So I look at, um, Stefan and Mercedes cause we done eating by this point. I look at them and I said, y'all, we gonna be right back. We finna go to the car. So Stefan like, oh, y'all finna go to the car. Mercedes like, what y'all finna go to the car for? Wouldn't you like to know, bitch? Wouldn't you like to know? So I'm just like, we just finna go to the car. Like, just, just, just vibe. Just vibe. You're not just vibing right now. Just, just chill out. We just finna go to the car. That's all you need to know. So she's just like, oh, well, hold on. Like, we almost done. Like, we could all, well, I said, no, no. We all don't need to go back to his car. Me and him gonna go. We gonna be right back. We gonna be right back. Like, y'all just talk chill. If y'all move from right here, just let me know where y'all at. We gonna be back up with y'all. Everything cool. So, Willie don't know, like, what's going on. He probably think we is finna go back to the car. He finna get damn reverse cowgirl in the back seat. No, we not doing that. Just follow my lead, my nigga. So he dapping up Stefan, Stefan, like, all right, bro, yeah, be safe, be safe, like, trying to be funny. And Mercedes has, like, a very visible look of concern and, like, annoy annoyance, annoyance, irritation on her face. So she's just like, what, like, why are y'all going to the car? Why are y'all going to the car? I'm just like, just vibe, just vibe, just vibe. So we leave them right where they at. I'm just like, call me if y'all uh if y'all leave them right here. And then Stefan's talking about that's it. How how you gonna you gonna answer the phone? What y'all going to the car Is you gonna answer the phone? I'm just like, yeah, just call me. I'm gonna answer the phone. Just call me. So we walk in and we bust out laughing. So I'm just like, I'm I'm annoyed. And I'm also like confused more than anything. So we get to his car and we just literally like standing up against his car. Like I think I'm sitting on like the trunk of his car. He's standing like leaned up against his car. So I'm telling him everything. I'm telling him about the new boy who came to our school that um, I was in a relationship with. Even though I don't really count that as a relationship. Even though we really was in a relationship. I'm telling him about the uh, the game, Never Have I Ever, when she said the thing about me stuffing my bra. I'm telling him about the one guy, which I haven't even like told y'all in detail about this story about this guy, because I could go into detail about him. But remember the guy I told y'all about who had liked me for all of those years, but she said that was her brother, and then she told me that she wanted to have a son by him and name the son after him or like whatever weird shit she said remember that so i'm telling him like all of these scenarios and situations and he's like 
how long you said y'all been friends and at this point me and mercedes had been friends for probably about like we've known each other like basically all of our lives but been friends for probably about like i don't know what like three or four years at this point so i said that and then he was like are you sure that's your friend because like if i'm a girl i would not do that to like my best friend so i'm just like you're right and I called Sparkle while I'm with him. Like, I FaceTimed her. So, she was just like, where you at? Like, who you with? Da, 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 da. And I'm just like, oh, yeah, well, I'm on the group date with Mercedes. But let me tell you what this bitch just did. So, Sparkle really wasn't Mercedes' biggest fan. I won't say, like, they weren't friends because they were. But I feel like more so she tolerated her because that was, like, one of my best friends more than, like, like, if me and Mercedes weren't friends, Sparkle and Mercedes wouldn't be friends. So, because she had told me before, because she knows everything, like, all of them, like, know everything, like, now I knew everything. So, Sparkle will always be like, you need to say something to her because I would never do that to you and I know you would never do that to me. And I know you would never, like, do half the things that she's done to you back to her. So, you need to talk to her about this. And I'm just like... I'm just like, I know, but like, I don't want to make it like a big deal. So now Sparkle and, um, I keep forgetting his name. I want to say his real name. Sparkle and Willie are both saying like, nah, you need to say something. Cause like, that's out of pocket. Like I felt violated. Like, why is you doing that? And you across from me next to my man's like my man's trying to get to like he don't even know like what's going on i'm gonna have to tell him like he was excited to like come on this date like he was excited now i got to tell him like he can't even be excited no more because she want me like i'm just like the way when y'all put it like that okay i do need to like say something to her like this isn't something that i could just like let slide so whatever hang up with her um they end up calling us and asking where we was at i said we was still by the car whatever they come we all just talking and i'm not trying to like be weird but when i feel a certain type of way especially like if i'm irritated or like annoyed by something you can see it all over my face like i cannot hide it at all so mercedes being the friend that she was to me she already knows like and plus, like, bitch, you already knew what you was doing. So, it's like, you knew what you was, like, walking into. So, I didn't want to, like, chew her out in front of both of them. So, we end the night there. I didn't want to end the night. I wanted us to still hang out longer. Um, and I told um, Willie maybe, like, we can, like, link up, like, tomorrow after Mercedes goes home, whatever, whatever, I'll let you know. So, he was, like, when he hugged me, he was, like, yeah, you got to handle that, you got to handle that. So, he was, like, I'm going to make her mad, watch this. And this nigga just takes the biggest handful of ass and just, which I'm not complaining about, but just takes the biggest two handfuls of ass and, like, squeezes me. And when he got done hugging me he looked at mercedes and i kind of like looked over there too and you could tell she was just very like irritated but like what why why though i'm still so confused on why like why do you always like is nothing sacred anymore? Can I not have anything to myself? And this would be different if this was like the first time. It's a pattern with you at this point. Like, why do you always want guys that want me? We don't look alike. We're not the same. So maybe you're just not their type. And like, it's like the guys that you want, they're not my type. I'm not trying to like be mean or nothing or say nothing bad about the type of guys that she was into. But it's just like, I like what I like. You like what you like. They're never going to mesh together because we're two different people. So it's like, I don't understand why you keep trying to like set yourself up like that. Because remember in the other story time, I told y'all that old boy said, even if your friend did get to me before you, I still was never going to want her. I wanted you like all along. It don't matter who said something to who first. I always wanted you, not your homie. So it really didn't matter if she said something before you. She's not my cup of tea. Why do you always want the niggas that don't want you, but want your best friend? I don't know. That's just very weird behavior to me. And like, why would you move like that? So whatever. So 
we get in the car and I guess the guilt was just like eating her up. So we get in the car and I'm the type of person when I get in the car I like to blast my music especially back then because I didn't have no sense. Now maybe not so much. Maybe sometimes I still blast my music especially if I drop my top. But anyways uh, so she turned the music like all the way down. She turned the music all the way down and she was like um, I know why y'all went to the car to talk or whatever. So I'm just like oh why? So she was just like, let me just explain, like, let me just explain, like, it wasn't like that, like, I just felt like when I listened to how fucking delusional this bitch is, because keep, keep in mind, I'm looking at Willie this whole time, Willie is looking at me, we are engaged in conversation, he whispering in my ear, he rubbing on my thigh, like, I would notice if he was doing anything other than what I just told y'all he was doing. She was just like... He was just giving me like googly eyes so like I took that as like maybe he was like trying to tell me something like I don't know like I should not have like done that and like I should have brought it to your attention. I said he was giving you googly eyes when? So she said when we were sitting at the table. I said Mercedes how was he giving you googly eyes when you was talking to Stefan and Willie was talking to me? When did this happen? So she was just like, well, it was just like very briefly. I said, so he gave you googly eyes for a split second and you thought to play footsies with him under the table while you sitting next to one of his best friends on a date with one of his best friends? So she was just like, it wasn't a date. You might as well call it that. You wasn't complaining when he paid for your food. So I'm like, and what's up with you following him on Instagram and liking all of his posts? Like, you thought I wasn't going to say nothing about that? So she was just like, well, what is Instagram for? Which, she might have ate me up a little bit on that one because Instagram is for engaging with people's posts and liking pictures and all of that. But, like, the circumstances, like, bitch, read the fucking room. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I said, yeah, it is meant for doing all of that, but not to somebody that your best friend is, quite frankly, talking to. Like... So she was just like, I didn't think it was like that big of a deal, like my bad, like that's my bad, if you, like you felt some type of way. I said, where's the loyalty? Like, this is becoming a pattern for you. And this was like the beginning of the downfall of our relationship, quite honestly. I said, where's the loyalty? Where is the loyalty at for real? Like, you supposed to be my best friend, like my best bitch, like my ace boom coon. Like, I'm supposed to count on you and depend on you for everything. And you be trying to like snake me for real. And people be telling me to stop fucking with you. And I be telling them to shut up. I be telling them to be quiet. Don't say nothing bad about you. I be defending you. You not giving me a lot to work with now. Like, who does that? So she was just like... I'm sorry, like, I just, I can't help, like, who I'm attracted to. Like, I can't help who my body is attracted to. I said, so now your body is attracted to Willie. What about him? What What about him? What about him do you like so much? Like, what about him? Because I could put you on. I could, I'm willing to sacrifice him. He too far for me. And, well, I'm not going to say he too far for me, but, because, let's, let's not do that, but, what about him, like, is making you get butterflies in your cootie cat? What about him? Like, tell me. Like, give me a list of things. Because, like, you don't even know him as a person, which, like I said, he, he did have, like, a lot going on. But he very, very much was, like, a sweetheart, like, at the end of the day. And he never, like, disrespected me, called me on my name, like, was an asshole or nothing. I just know you got a lot of people that you entertain me, which is fine, which is why I can't take you serious. But... He was never like rude or mean to me or nothing like that. So I'm just like, what about him makes you think that he finna stop talking to me and go fuck with my best friend? Like you don't even know him. This was your first time meeting him. You was in his face for what, like maybe an hour? Huh? I'm confused. I'm literally confused, but I'm trying to make it so I'm not confused. So how about you break this down to me in like a form of like an elementary school person? Like break it down to me of like a second grader. I'm so confused. So she was just like, I, I can't explain it. Like I can never explain it. Like I can never explain it. So she, and she was like, and why do you keep bringing up um, the situation with whatever I named him um, in the story time? I'm just like, because that's relevant to what we're talking about. Why do you always want the same niggas that want me? Like I'm confused. So she was like, Lauren, it's a free country. 
And I know somebody's like, you dumb bitch. Why would you still continue to be friends with her after this? I don't know. I, cause I want, like, I didn't want her to be a weird ass, thick ass bitch like how she was. I didn't want her to be that. Because I loved you. I loved you. Why are you trying? So I'm just like, Mercedes, you know the fuck what? Don't even spend a night at my house. Don't even spend a night again in my house. We gonna go home. We gonna go to my house. We gonna get your stuff and I'm gonna take you down the country to your house. Cause, bitch, I might run this car off the road and make sure the car flip on your side. What are you talking about? It's a free country. So I just kept saying like, wow, 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 wow. So now I'm pissed. Like before I maybe was like a little annoyed, a little irritated. But it's like how she doubling down on shit. You not apologetic. You just saying like, oh, well, that's not your boyfriend. Technically, it's a free country. Oh, I got, I, I can't help who I'm attracted to. So when I used to get mad at like a lot of shit, I used to call Sparkle and I just used to like put her on speakerphone and I would just be continuing the conversation with whoever I'm yelling at. So I'm letting her hear all of this and I'm like, Sparkle, Sparkle, do you hear this bitch right now? So she's trying to like be mediator and Mercedes, what's going on? Like, why are you doing that? Lauren is your best friend and da 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 da. So they going back and forth, whatever. Mercedes still doubling down on her comment. She was just like, I didn't think that it was that big of a deal. So we like, what the fuck? Like, what are you talking about? How would you think that that's not a big deal? Like, we yelling at her. So um, she's just like, um, I didn't think that it was a big deal, but now seeing like how upset you are, like that's my bad, that's my bad. She never not once said I apologize or I'm sorry. My bad to me personally is not an apology. Like that's just not an apology to me. Like I don't like when people say like my bad because it's just, it's just, it's just giving like half ass. Like you just really don't care. You're just saying that to like shut me up. That's not an apology. So. I get off the phone with Sparkle, I go back to my house, um, I tell her, go in the house, get your stuff, come back out, and I'm finna drop you off. And that's exactly what I did. I took her down the country, down the little dirt road, and I dropped her off. And she didn't want to get out the car at first. She was just like, can we just talk about it? Can we just talk about it? I'm like, there's nothing to talk about. Like, I see you for who you are, and I don't like that. Because I would never, ever, ever do no shiesty ass, shady ass, snake ass shit to you like how you be doing to me like for all i know bitch you probably be telling my business to the next bitch which i did find out that she was doing that which i could tell y'all a story time remember i said how i can go into detail about how we like our last time like fucking with each other um but i'm just like i would never ever ever do that to you like i would never do that to you and like i've never told nobody this and y'all getting some exclusive tea but some guys, which I would say this probably only happened like twice, which I don't know if this made me like a bad friend for not bringing it to her attention, but like I never entertained it. So I don't know, like maybe this was like a flaw for me, but some of the guys if, like you would be talking to, they would be like, bro, if you would have said something to me before your friend, like it would have been up for you. Like it would have been snack wraps for you. Like I like you for real. And it's like, I would never, ever, ever go behind your back. Or like, even like this wasn't even behind my back. This was in my face. Like, I would never go and talk to a nigga that I knew that you were interested in. A nigga that I knew that you had a crush on. A nigga that I knew that you were in a relationship with. Was talking to nothing. Stuff like that don't even cross my mind. So it's like to know that like I held you so close to my heart and like in my life and like you was just so comfortable like snicking me like that just because oh Willie and we, like Willie is not even like a good example but like, Willie wasn't technically like, like my boyfriend but I was talking to him we were entertaining each other I'm on a date with him right in front of your face like why would you do that to me so yeah man after that um, I kind of was like looking at her funny which I should have been looking at her funny way before it is. But it's just like, like I said, I just always try to give her like the benefit of the doubt. Like, my friend would never, like, she's just confused. Like, she just, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Looking back on that now and like telling y'all this story. Like, bitch, you were cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs for even tolerating her. Like, Ugh, I can't stand it. And I hate the way girls act, especially back then. I used to hate the way girls act behind some dick. Like, and this dick that don't that don't even want you. Like
like that shit was crazy so yeah y'all that was the time that my best friend best friend for life tried to snake me and take my mans right in front of my face like and who the fuck even plays footsies anyways like did you think this nigga was gonna take his jordans off and take his socks off and y'all was gonna interlock toes like this under the table fi guys like what did you like what did you think was gonna happen what did you think was gonna come of that i'm confused you sliding your toes up his leg and shit like it was just very weird behavior i don't know so yeah y'all um <laughs> That was the end of that, and we are not friends no more, but y'all already knew that, but yeah, so. Yeah, we made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much. Give me a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed. Leave me a comment. Tell me, tell me some in the comments. Talk to me. Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. Turn on your post bell notifications. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do a confessions video or unpopular um, opinions video after this. Maybe I'll do both. Maybe I'll do both. I don't know. I don't know. Y'all going to get something tomorrow. I don't know which one it'll be. But, um, yeah. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I'm going to see y'all next week for two brand new videos. Bye, y'all.